What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the second beta of macOS 26.3 Beta 2. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software, so let's get started. So the reason why you did not see a Beta 1 video is because there was absolutely nothing new besides like performance improvements. Which is also kind of to be expected here inside of Beta 2, I wasn't expecting to see anything new in here at all. But we actually got something new. If we take a look right here, we can see that the second beta came at 3.09 gigabytes, which is kind of a hefty size for a very minor update. My first thought was, did we actually get the new ringtones inside of macOS? And to answer your question right here, no, we did not. None of the new ringtones are in here at all, not on the files or anything. And just to be 100% sure here, none of the new ringtones are in here at all. But what actually do we have? We actually got one little minor change inside this update, and it is that when opening up the mail app for the first time, you're gonna notice a brand new screen that says optimizing your inbox. This happened on both of the Macs I installed this on, so it's very likely that this will happen to you as soon as you install macOS 26.3 Beta 2. Other than that, there seems to be no new things with the Apps app. It doesn't seem to have gotten any bigger or any smaller. You still need a third-party app to get Launchpad and everything seems to be pretty much the same. Now, there are a couple of internal changes very likely, which is very weird to see that the update was three gigabytes. Usually if it was a lot smaller, it would be like two gigabytes or one gigabyte. For some reason, it was three gigabytes. I'm gonna have to take a guess that the reason why it feels pretty much the same as the previous beta is because it was mainly optimizations for Intel. Apple probably wants to have Intel at its final spot to be very smooth, not be very buggy. And Apple working on Intel right now means that Intel Macs that install the final macOS update will be smooth forever basically. But yeah, performance seems to be about the same. Let's talk about what is next for Apple. All right, so right here, we got ourselves our calendar widget and we can see that it is the 12th of January. I expect the next beta to come out here on the 19th or the 20th, but most likely on the 20th because the 19th is a national holiday in the United States and Apple is based in the United States. So that is why I'm saying the 20th is the most likely. Now it is very hard to say what we will be getting if it will be a beta 3 or an RC. The C at the end of the build number indicates that this is the third version of 5101. I just looked at the build number, what it was before, it was 5087F. So we had a major jump here, which probably makes sense as to why we have a C build. Usually the third beta, if it has an A or a B at the end of the build number, usually means that it is the first or a second version. So therefore, I'm gonna guess that we are gonna get a third beta here. Now that does not rule out an RC coming on the 19th at all, or the 20th is what I meant. And then uh, if we get the RC next week, the final release will come out on the 26th. And if not, it will probably come out here on February 2nd. And that's looks like a pretty perfect week, if I say so myself. One other possibility that we can get is that if we go into privacy and security, Apple actually released some background security improvements. So these were just tests, they weren't anything major, but they were just testing to see if they could actually change stuff with the background security improvements, and they were able to fix them with the two ones that they released inside of Beta 1. We could get some of these inside of Beta 2, but personally, if I had to say if we're getting them or not, I'd probably say no since Apple already tested them, but who knows, we can get more. But yeah, now let me run a quick Geekbench test so we can see how much better macOS 26.2 is compared to 26. All right, so our previous scores were 38.22 and 15.334. Now let's take a look right here. 36.85 and 15.325. So it looks like they are slightly lower in both of them. I would be a little bit concerned about the single core, but personally that could just be a margin of error difference because a lot of the times the scores could be affected by like third party apps. However, I did not have any third party apps running, so that was a little bit weird. But yeah, that is just some things to keep in mind that it, performance could be nerfed here, but could also just be because it is margin of error. Anyways, that's everything new here inside this latest beta of Mac OS Tahoe. Pretty solid update, and it's going to be a pretty fun release to see how much stable it is. Now, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, down my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!